Well, a couple of questions just to round off on. Uh, there's a perception that the blockchain, perhaps not infallible, but was uh, self-regulating and had a certain degree of inherent uh, checks and balances that prevented uh, crime and uh, illegal users from uh, transacting on it. Is that now a, a, a fallacy or, uh, or a reality? And, and how sophisticated are crypto criminals? What countries are they operating out of? And are they uh, perhaps one step ahead of law enforcement? So, so basically, to look at it from, from a, a, a jurisdiction point of view first, I would say that the forums where you can buy uh, malware and ransomware are often time in, uh, written in Russian. Uh, so it means that Probably a lot of, of Russians are attracted to this. There'll be like some nexus around Russia for, uh, for this push of, of malware. But of course, we live in a world where Google Translate is freely available. And that means that basically anyone can translate something from Russian into English, into Chinese, into any other language, and basically run it from there. I would say there's, there's some nexus around, around Russia for, for, uh, for ransomware and, uh, and malware. I would say... Uh, are anyone ahead of law enforcement? I would actually say law enforcement are becoming increasingly smart around how to investigate these uh, these types of crime. One of the things that is extremely important is to follow the different groups that are conducting uh, various uh, criminal activity and basically look at the activity before it happens and be ready to either seize funds or crack down on the activity to the extent uh, it's, it's, uh, it's possible here. So, no, I don't think it's, um, it's, it, we see that the criminals are getting ahead of law enforcement currently. And then to the final point you had was like, is, uh, is there an inherent uh, protection against crime on the blockchain? I would say the blockchain is extremely good at protecting whatever is already there. The blockchain itself will not be hacked, but I would say smart contracts written on top of the blockchain uh, services written on, on top of the blockchain and utilizing the blockchain, they are being hacked and that is definitely happening. So to that extent, yes, I would say uh, crime will happen on the blockchain just as in anywhere else. Uh, and I think that's the sign of, of usage in, 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 in a wall. Right. And does the uh, momentum that we're seeing now in uh, central bank digital currencies, does that change the narrative, Michael, for the better? I would say the way I look at, at central bank digital currencies, it, it's yet another use of, uh, of blockchain. We already seen a huge usage of uh, stable coins, which are basically the, the same for, for, for at least seen from the user point of view to, uh, to central bank digital currencies. So it basically means you can pick your local currency against an instrument that works on a blockchain, exchange that for Ethereum, exchange that for Bitcoin, exchange that for, for other cryptocurrencies, and use that in, um, in, for, for various purposes. So I would say what's happening with central bank yields and currencies is that you will see an increased influx of activity in crypto in general. Uh, and that means a bigger, a bigger like trade in cryptocurrencies. It will also mean more crime, of course, because if everything grows. That means that crime is just moving to the blockchain. It's not being, uh, it's not being, uh, it's not net nor crime. I think it's just moving from elsewhere.